earlier today, an oil truck just flipped over in the air, turning over in Marlboro. Yeah, the crash caused a spill. News 8's Tina Detail shows us what police say happened there. Even just getting the truck back on flat ground is a challenge for this tow truck operator who probably hasn't dealt with anything like this too many times before. A precarious position, to say the least. This is my first experience of seeing something like this. Arnold Buckley was surprised to see this scene across the street from his South Road home. The Marlboro Fire Chief tells News 8 the driver of the burn heating oil truck had just finished a delivery, and when he went to get back into the truck, it started rolling down the driveway, across the lawn, through the stone wall, and landed in a drainage ditch in a vertical position. Right now we're securing the vehicle in place. Firefighters, state police, and DEEP responded. We feel that there was approximately 500 gallons that had been released from the tank of approximately 2,200 gallons that we feel was in it before the accident occurred. While the spilled oil was removed, the bigger challenge was to offload the 1,700 gallons still in the tank before the truck was uprighted because they feared more could spill out. With assistance from Colchester Fire with their ladder truck, we are going to send, uh, DEP is going to head up in there, environmental services, to drill the tanks and remove the remainder of the oil out of the tank. So it's a terrible thing to happen, but thank God nobody got hurt. Investigators will try to determine why the truck rolled, while DEEP assesses any environmental damage. It's not an ideal situation because of the snow, but the ground is frozen, so we should not have tremendous absorption into the ground. Even though he hasn't seen anything quite like this, Williamson says the DEEP has been very busy over the past few days, ever since the weather turned very cold. That's because there's been more deliveries and there's been more accidents and oil spills. In Marlboro, Tina Detell, News 8.